Okay, so let's get you started. So first exercise we're gonna start off with, we're gonna do a squat jump, but we're gonna go like a wide stance into a close stance, okay? So you're squat jumping, wide stance, touch the ground, in close, out wide, okay? But like a dance move you used to do when you were younger. So again, 45 seconds on on this, 15 seconds rest. I'm gonna explain the rest of the exercises in that 15 second rest period, so make sure you're listening, okay? So let's have our timer. And let's get you ready to go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so wide and close. And let's get up onto the toes for these. Let's keep them nice and quick. So we're getting the legs working, pumping the heart rate up. Try and stay up on the toes for these. So we're nice and light in the feet. We're not slamming the feet down. It's got a huge impact. Let's go over halfway on this one. Keep them nice and quick. Last 10 seconds, let's push through. Three, two, one, rest, 15. Okay, next exercise, gonna grab our mat. So we're gonna go scissor kicks, we're on our backs, straight legs, kick them one up. I'm one down. Let's get ready to go. Three, two, one. Let's go. So the lower down you get your feet on this, the more impact it's going to have on those abs. If you're really struggling with your back, just pop your hands on underneath your bum and get those legs moving again. You can also bring them up a wee bit higher if you're finding it just too tough. But try and get yourself down low. Point your toes. Open up those abs. Strain them down towards the bottom of your core. Let's keep it up. We're almost there. In the last five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Relax. Okay. Next one, we're going to do jumping skiers. So... We're basically hopping to one side of one leg and landing on one leg, okay? Three, two, one. So big jump out, land with that bent knee. So load up through the leg, land with the bent knee. Make sure we stay low, really explode off that leg. If you're finding you can't do these, the impact is too much, I just want you to stand on one leg, squat down, transition. Onto the other side. Let's try and get that hop in nice and quick. Staying low, blasting those legs, pushing that heart rate up. 15 seconds left. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Relax. Nice work. Okay, we're back on your mat. Should feel those heart rates up now. So we're just gonna go basic crunch on this one. So we're gonna have our feet up off the ground, trying to get the elbows to hit the knees. Three, two, one, let's go. So we're using the elbows as a guide, and you want them right up onto the top of your knees. Okay, don't worry if you can't actually get that far. That's just where we're aiming. So don't wanna see us down here. Just moving like this. Let's get right up. Lift that chest. It means you've got to really engage the core. Engage those abs. Again, if you're finding tough in your back, just drop your feet. Lift your hands over the knees. 10 seconds left. Let's keep it going. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice. Okay, we're up on the feet. Remember, you've only got 15 seconds rest. Get your water if you need it. Woo. Okay, next exercise. Just high knees, so we're running on the spot. Let's go. Up nice and high. Get the knees, you can see. My belly button height. Up nice and high, let's go. Let's keep them up. Use those arms as well. As fast as you can, running on the spot. Keep them high. Keep that pace. 
Let's go. Remember, right up high. Belly button height, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Hold on. Okay, we're on those mats again. Woo. Okay, this one we're on the bicycle crunch. So we're lifting up, opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's go. So again, make sure that chest is up off the ground. Rotate, use your elbows to guide. Hit it off the knee. So if you want to challenge yourself, extend that range of the legs out. If not, just shorten it in a bit. Really pressure through that core. Let's keep it up. Keep going, push through. We've got a few more left. The timer's on it. Here we go, three, two, one, relax. Nice work. Woo! So you should be feeling those heart rates up now, eh? So now for the tough stuff, we're gonna do a furby sprawl. So you're doing a furby, jumping into a squat jump, okay? Let's go, jump the feet back, up into that squat, into that squat. Make sure we straighten up the back as well. Push through, over halfway. Nice and quick, really jump back. Pull those legs up. Last 10 seconds. Heart rate should be through the roof. Three, two, one. Relax. Woo. Okay, we're gonna do those abs things again. Quick drink. Okay, on to our mat. Toe touch. Legs are in the air. Crunch up. Touch the toes. So again, don't worry if you can't actually get up to touch your toes. We're just aiming that way. Try your best not to swing your arms. Don't throw them up and down. Generate that momentum from your core. Lift up. If you need to bend your knees, that's fine too. Just lift up, or if your back's still giving you trouble, just drop your feet down, lift up, and down. But again, don't swing the arms. Okay, keep it going, another last 10. Three, two, one, relax. Woo! We're nearly there. Okay, we're gonna go mountain climbers for the next one. So that press up position, we're running on the spot. Let's go. So you see the knees are coming up nice and high. You want to make it tougher, you can have a twist in. Just twist across the body. Or you can just keep it straight. Let's try and keep it quick. Over halfway. 15 seconds. Almost there, push through. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay, almost there. So, just in this standard plank on this one. So you're on the forearms, nice straight line, keep that core strong. Ready to go. Three, two, one, let's go. So if you want to add in some wee rotations, you can do that too. Just dip in the hips. Or you can just hold it there. A couple of wee rocks back and forward. Wherever you're comfortable. Let's keep it up. You can even come up on the hands if you want to. If you need to make it easier. 
or you can even up on the hands, down under your elbows, and keep it going in like a little rotation. Okay, nearly there. Keep hold, keep your belly up off the floor. Three, two, one. <clears throat> okay, this one we're just doing standard squat jumps. So we're up and down. Land with bent knees, explode up into the air. These are going to be tough, especially at the end of your workout. Let's try and keep them going. Over halfway, come on, push through. Land with bent knees, straight into the next one. 10 seconds. Feel that burn. Three, two, one. Nice, take a bit of a rest. <sighs> Nearly there. Okay, hold on that. He needs for this one. So, feet are off the ground, lift the chest, and just tapping on the heels. So make sure on this, you're keeping the chest up off the ground. So you're just tapping the right bottom of your shoe. If you want to make it harder, lift those feet up. You got to reach up a little bit higher. Keep going into the last ten. Okay, last one on eight. We're gonna go with a bear crawl. So we're just moving forward and back from the ground on all fours. Three, two, one, let's go. We're traveling quick on these. Trying to push through the shoulders and the way back. Don't worry about too much space. You only need a couple of steps. Trying to stay low. Coordinate that walk. As long as you keep moving on these, doesn't matter how fast. Let's keep them up well over halfway. <laughs> Nearly there. Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, last one. I'm gonna pick a hard one to finish. Hollow holds. So, I'm trying to make a V shape, or like a pole sort of shape. Feet are out straight, arms are out straight. Three, two, one, let's go. So, again, try to lift that chest up off the ground. Get your arms out behind you. Point those toes. You can see that shape. So if it's too much on the back, just bring your feet in a little bit, but lift your chest and keep it up. Okay, if you're not struggling, just get those feet all right, right straight, keep going. Almost there, lift that chest up. Big breaths in and out, point those toes. Nearly there. Nice. Relax. Well done, guys. Really good. Get some water. So, hopefully you've enjoyed that. So, like I said, if you want to restart it, head again. You can do 24 exercises, or you can blast through right through to 36. Absolutely bust yourselves. Well done, guys. Hopefully see you back soon.